attorneys upstairs and they prosecuted. Oh, oh we've got that uh, right now. I think we've got around 65. You got 65. Right. I'm having a problem as a legislator here. We just got a letter from the Kansas City Star that's stating that uh, we needed to give information uh, according to the Sunshine Law. We had three days as legislators to give information uh, for a, a certain subject. Also, I've had legislators that have got questions on quorums, whether we can talk, whether we can't, whether there's a violation of the Sunshine Law, so on and so forth. I, this is going to be something unprecedented. I'm going to ask you from the Health and Justice Chairmanship here, if you could work with the Health and Justice Committee to ensure uh, that basically the Missouri Sunshine Law, that we're abiding by this, and that also I can give you as far as the government itself, as far as legislators here. I've got a letter here that I will present to you, and I'll read it to you. Uh, I'm going to request that your office assist the Health and Justice Committee pertains to a commitment to openness in Jackson County government that is clearly states that in Section 610, uh, 911 of the Sunshine Law, it is, it is the public policy of this state that meetings, records, votes, actions, deliberations of public government bodies shall be open to the public unless otherwise provided by law. I'm asking the prosecuting attorney Michael Saunders to assist this committee in violations of Sunshine Law pertaining to Jackson County government. The only case that I can cite as a violation is the Paige Turner uh, plaintiff's versus Raphael Garcia defendant case, whereby on July the 29th, a meeting of the OHRCC commission was closed. They did a ruling. That's the only that's the only case that I've got that we possibly have a violation. I would I would like this is unprecedented. Can the prosecuting attorney help this committee? as far as when we have problems when we don't have things open and what 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 direction we need to go with that sure now if i can understand your question you're asking on the turner case is that right that the turner the, case which is the turner case is a specific case where we had a violation that's the only one that i can cite okay. however i'm having problems and some of us are having problems around here in reference to getting information we have to come before these committees to get information and i might want to be able to i can't get to the bottom of what is a violation of Sunshine Law and what is it, as far as not, I direct it to the uh, the county council themselves, and they have given us some information, but we've cautioned them also. And it might get to the point that I need to have, if you go to the attorney general, it takes about a year or two to get into that. So I just wanted to bring that up. I will submit this to you, and I want to get on with the hearings. With so we'll be happy. I mean, there, there are two prosecutorial agencies that have original jurisdiction over Sunshine cases. One, of course, is the attorney general's office. The other is the Jackson County mm -hmm. Prosecutor's Office. Uh, so, uh, Mr. Stringfield, if you have issues of concern uh, regarding potential violation of Sunshine Law, uh, we are very interested in any potential violation of Sunshine Law. Uh, additionally, uh, you indicated the Turner matter. Uh, I think sort of indirectly or obliquely I'm aware of what you're talking about, but if this is something where you would like for my office to look into this as well, uh, we'll follow whatever, whatever direction you want us to follow. We'll be happy to do that as well. Uh, and any other request you have of us and we're happy to help this legislature any way we can okay thank you okay uh, i'm going to go ahead and uh that was my response to uh basically uh why we're having some of these meetings we're trying to get information we're trying to get to the bottom of some things and i think for some of us that are new legislators we need to be able to ask